I've made like over 400 videos. You, you can't see them on my channel. I've locked several of them. <laughs> a lot of them. <laughs> Especially my earlier year ones. <laughs> Hey there, my handsome and pretty little cobras, and welcome back to the Cobra's Nest. For those of you who are new, my name is Mignon Cobra, and I make minimalism videos. So today's minimalism video is going to be the art of driving in the rain. Two tips on how to handle failure. So without further ado, let's just get into the video. Let's get it, let's go. Woo. Today's video is going to be one coming from the heart. I know that's not particularly minimalistic, but I think that there's some aspects of minimalism where you reject the standard that society claims is success I think does overlap very well with what I'm going to talk about today and there's two things that I'm going to be talking about today the first thing that I'm going to be talking about is no one owes you anything and the second thing is 10 minutes on stage is 10 minutes off stage okay so number one no one owes you anything I think that that was one of the hardest things that I had to come to grips with I think I have mentioned in other videos that I struggled with failure or like not reaching success because up until my youtube channel Everything has gone my way in life. I know it sounds like super arrogant, but I have to be honest and explain why <laughs> this has been like, like handling failure has been so hard for me. I wanted to reach 100 pounds, I did it. I wanted to go to med school, I did it. So for me, my YouTube channel, I thought, I arrogantly thought I'd be the type of person who was gonna blow up within the first year. <laughs> And I think somewhere in my fifth year, it really hit home that like other people have been successful for years on end and I still don't really, really have success. And I think this is arbitrary because it makes me sound very like ungrateful for my channel. I'm super grateful for my channel and I really couldn't say that months ago. I was in a really dark place. So that's why I'm making this video, uh, the art of driving in the rain. Like how do you drive beautifully? And if you guys have ever seen race cars drivers and they, they're they driving in the rain under difficult conditions and the car just like swerves so beautifully and you're like, it's art. That's kind of how I live my life now. My YouTube channel is me driving in the rain. I wanted to share this idea of like failure and how to handle failure and I gonna explain the first tip which is like no one owes you anything that was the hardest part i think of accepting failure my youtube channel i guess i was very i came into this with a very entitled mindset um, i thought very highly of myself <laughs> through a lot of self-reflection and watching other people's videos on like success and handling failure one of the key things that really helped me a lot was this idea that just because like i got on camera and i made a youtube channel doesn't all of a sudden mean that everybody's gonna come flocking to my youtube channel like oh my god like you're amazing I know it's like <laughs> sounds so ridiculous and rather like really embarrassing and kind of humiliating to admit that on camera but that is kind of where I came from I guess I, I had a bigger ego and I had more pride than I cared to admit so once I realized that like I'm not owed you know a hundred thousand subscribers and people commenting on my channel so I was like I have to work very hard and I have to put out good content and I have to add value to people's lives if I want to succeed and grow in my niche okay number two ten minutes on stage and 10 minutes off stage. I think this is a Chinese like saying, like a cheng yu. And it's this idea that like, you may see somebody play on stage for about maybe 10 minutes and they play so beautifully and you think like they are so talented. But the thing that you don't see is you don't see that they practiced for 10 years for those 10 minutes on the stage. And I think that's kind of something that I've learned watching YouTubers and even going through this journey myself was that you may see a small sliver of success and you think, wow, overnight success, but you don't see you know, the 10, 15 years that that person put into finally coming out with the masterpiece that supposedly looks like it was overnight. Like where I think about where I am right now, this is built upon years and years and months of like me video editing. Like I've made like over 400 videos. You, you can't see them on my channel. I've locked several of them, <laughs> a lot of them, <laughs> especially my earlier year ones. <laughs> But I've been doing this for a really long time, so although some of my videos now are performing really well, you may think, Oh, she's like an overnight success. It's not. I've been doing this for half a decade. <laughs> so that's something that has really helped me a lot whenever I feel like, why don't I have the success that I want? I have to remind myself that where I want to be is going to require a lot of effort and work on my part. I've also got it out of my head that, you know, Work efficient. You know what? Just enjoy the journey. At least for me, I've come to enjoy the journey and the process of just like doing things because like doing things for a really long time to have the amount that I want because thinking that I'm gonna do a little to get a little and be efficient brings me back to point one which is that nobody owes you anything so once I got that out of my head and realized that I just need to work hard put my nose to the grinder and just keep going 
I I feel like those two thought processes have allowed me to drive beautifully in the rain. Like I'm, I feel like I get on camera now, and I think you guys have noticed it too. A lot of you said that it looks like I'm finally thriving, and nothing has really changed. Uh, if anything, my subscriber count has slowed down a lot significantly in the past couple months. But this is probably the happiest I've ever been because my mindset is finally in the healthy place. Like I'm not putting my happiness on external things. Like how's my YouTube channel doing? Instead, I'm like actually living my life and. What am I bringing to the table as opposed to what is YouTube bringing to the table? <laughs> anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that this, you know, the art of driving in the rain resonates with anybody. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.